welcome to Great Moments in History. I'm your host, Douglas Welch. Today we're in the archival library at the European Museum of Military History, where we're going to learn about the war that shaped the world as we know it. That's right, the Second European War. Now, in case you couldn't tell, the Second European War was in response to the, uh, well, First European War. Now, we won't go into too much depth here, but it helps to have some context. The European continent was split into two superpowers. In the west, we have the Atlantic Federation, and in the east, we have the East European Imperial Alliance, which for the sake of time and my sanity, we'll be referring to as the Empire from now on. Also, in this central area, we have the neutral territory, El Gallia, which will reveal its importance later on. In the 18th century, the world saw a great industrial revolution. Everyone depended on a very precious resource known as ragnite to fuel their technological advancements. Tension rose over this very limited resource, and as you can well imagine, war broke out. The First European War. Now, this war was unlike anything the world had ever seen. Homes and families were destroyed on both sides. And the land would be forever scarred from trenches and artillery fire. Eventually, a ceasefire was signed, but tensions were higher than ever, and ragnite was in high demand and short supply. Of course, this uneasy peace couldn't last. In 1935, the Empire broke the ceasefire by aggressively crossing the border. We know this as the start of the Second European War. The world was still broken from the First War, and of course, the Second Invasion in 1935 was a shock to the entire European continent. The people were still recovering from horrible losses, and just as soon as this uneasy peace was negotiated, the treads of heavy tanks and fires of war swept once again over the countryside. Now remember that neutral territory known as Gallia? They were blessed with rich natural ragnite deposits. And as you can well imagine, this made them a target for the empire in both wars. Gallia took heavy losses during the imperial invasion in the First European War, and as the tiny neutral principality just found a chance to breathe, the empire invaded this tiny nation once again. Now we have numerous first-hand accounts of the Gallian invasion from Gallian militia and eyewitnesses, including Irene Collar. Nevertheless, the imperial invasion was as fast as it was violent, as troops rained down fire upon unarmed civilians with no discretion. Now, you might be thinking Gallia and the Atlantic Federation didn't stand a chance in the face of this powerful enemy, right? Wrong. Incredibly, the tiny nation of Gallia was able to fend off the empire, though the battle was long and the losses were great. We've heard this story before, though, haven't we? Well, you may not realize that the Eastern Front was just as fundamental in securing the Federation victory. This mission was known as Operation Northern Cross. For all you history buffs out there, hold on to your trousers, for this is truly a priceless artifact. The actual journal of Commander Claude Wallace of Squad E, known for his heroic contributions in Operation Northern Cross. You see, the Empire was much more powerful than the Federation. The troops led by gifted generals such as Silvaria Bless and the Winter Witch Cremaria Levin. They employed a tactical mastery unlike any other and unleashed their fearsome Valkyria powers on all who were in their way. Now the Federation was desperate and it lost 30% of their territory to the Empire in the first three months of the invasion alone. Operation Northern Cross was their response. A last ditch effort to end the war once and for all. In theory, the plan was simple. Focus troops on key locations in the Imperial defense a breakthrough to strike swiftly at the Imperial capital, Schwarzgrat. Cut the head off the snake, so to speak. In reality, however, this meant trekking through the frigid landscapes of an especially harsh Imperial winter and facing insurmountable odds. But Operation Northern Cross was the Federation's last hope. Though without going into too much detail, ultimately the Federation was able to pull through. Ah, I see we're just about out of time. If you want to learn more about the Second European War or how Operation Northern Cross changed the world as we know it, I invite you to visit the European Museum of Military History 
or discover for yourself Valkyria Chronicles 4. I'm Douglas Welch, and this has been Great Moments in History. Now get out there and make some history of your own. Hmm? Like and share if you enjoy the video and think others might benefit from this. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification button if you are new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video.